No, I wanted to, before we get to your book, your latest book, <clears throat> ask you about this latest development in the United States. The director of the Central Intelligence Agency gave his first major address, and he focused on WikiLeaks. And it looks like now the U.S. is preparing an arrest warrant for Julian Assange, who's been holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy in London for almost five years now. Pompeo calling uh, WikiLeaks a hostile non-state intelligence service, calling Julian Assange himself a demon, and said he's not protected by the First Amendment. Your thoughts? Well, I think it speaks for itself. Uh, WikiLeaks has released uh, lots of information that governments don't like. It's overwhelmingly information that citizens should have. It's information about what their governments are doing. Uh, and uh, perfectly natural that systems of power uh, uh, don't want to be exposed. So they'll do what they can to prevent exposure. Uh, the, uh, I think it's a disgraceful act. In fact, I think it's a disgraceful even to keep uh, Julian Assange uh, holed up in the uh, Ecuadorian embassy. Uh, he's, uh, I did visit him there once, but you can guess yourself. It's uh, in many ways worse than imprisonment. At least if you're in prison, you can see other prisoners and you can get out and look at the sunshine now and then. Uh, he's in a small apartment where you can't go out, you know, can go to the balcony, but that's about it. Uh, a small apartment, uh, basically a couple of rooms inside a small apartment. It's not a big embassy. Uh, the embassy is like a kind of an apartment in London, surrounded by police and so on. Uh, th there's been no uh, credible basis for any of this. And uh, to go on to try to carry it, to raise it to the level of uh, criminal prosecutions, I think is, again, one of these efforts to uh, look tough at home and uh, the kind of effort that a government would carry out that is dedicated to trying to protect itself from exposure of facts that citizens should have, uh, but citizens of power don't want them to have. I think that's the crucial issue. The suggestions are it has to do with um, his aiding and abetting perhaps Chelsea Manning and also Edward Snowden. And doing that with Edward Snowden, which he openly admits um, while he's trapped in the Ecuadorian embassy. If, if the charge is true, he should be honored for it. Uh, Chelsea Manning and uh, Edward Snowden are carried out uh, heroic, courageous acts. They fulfilled the responsibility of somebody who takes citizenship seriously. That is, who believes that the people of a country ought to know something about what their government's up to. Okay? Like if their government is carrying out murderous, uh, brutal attacks in Iraq, people should know about it. Takes us back to Martin Luther King's talk in 1967. If uh, the government is, uh, and corporations too, incidentally, are uh, listening in to your uh, telephone conversations and uh, what you're doing, you know, uh, tapping this dis discussion and so on, we should know about it. Uh, governments have no right to do things like that. And people should know about it. And if they think it's okay, fine, let them decide, not do it in secret. And I think people wouldn't agree to it. Uh, that's why it's kept secret. Why else keep it secret, you know? And these are people who exposed it at great risk to themselves. So those are heroic, courageous acts. If uh, WikiLeaks was abetting them, more power to them. That's what they should be doing. I mean, uh -huh. President Trump endorsed WikiLeaks, right? He said, I love WikiLeaks during yeah. the campaign. When it was releasing things that he liked. You know, uh, any system of power will do that. You release information that I like, it's great. But I don't want to be exposed.
That's MIT professor Noam Chomsky speaking on Monday at the First Parish Church in Cambridge. To see our full conversation, go to democracynow.org. That does it for our show. I'll be speaking at Middlebury College in Vermont today at noon, then on to Vermont College of Fine Arts in Montpelier at 7. Tomorrow, Thursday at noon, I'll be at Bennington College tomorrow night at the Unitarian Church on Pearl Street in Burlington. Then on Saturday night, after Democracy Now!'s five-hour broadcast of the People's Climate March in Washington, D.C., I'll be speaking at the Plymouth Congregational Church. Thanks.